reincarnation stuff stuff but after documenting and putting this lady lady under hypnosis she straight up was uh started speaking in different languages from aramaic thousands of years ago to like egyptian to german and all of a sudden she's like she's 27 she's wearing a white gown and she runs and then there's explosions and she starts telling stories as though she really was first person in all these different lives and she's lived like 56 past lives and, and while under hypnosis fluently was speaking totally different languages from all different eras of history coming out of this lady's mouth like a possession and I guess she was some type of conduit and at the end of the psychiatrist documenting all this he turned into a complete believer that if there's any piece of evidence true that this reincarnation things exist sorry i'm a little tired here if reincarnation exists this book documents it i warn you if you listen to this book uh it didn't affect me because i'm pretty open-minded i don't um it doesn't shock me or anything but anyway i can tell you stories about all crazy books i have uh more books these just happen to be I think most of them. Uh, my my goal and dream, before I got really 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 busy, was uh, my one of my favorite things to do was to go to the bookstore on the weekends and my used bookstore. And every time I got a paycheck when I had a job, I was, or even, I always buy books. And so I want to triple the amount of books. The goal is to have an entire library. I continue to accumulate and consume books. Uh, I think they're. A reflection of who you are when I first got married my wife uh, I talk about my wife a lot in my videos I know that she is uh, in some areas that I am very dumb my wife is extremely smart and I actually have learned to trust her and re even rely on her in certain areas and then there's some other areas where she is not very smart and I am very smart and she relies on me. Let's just put it that way. But she was suggesting, what is all these books? Let's get rid of all these and donate them or throw them away or something. And I was like, what? And I just like... <laughs> I said, you can take everything from me, but don't, don't, you, don't you ever take my books. These are my books. And they will, so these will go with me everywhere. I'll never get rid of them. Classic story about Dr. Wayne Dyer before I go. When he was in his 70s, he moved to Hawaii. And he took the keys to his condo and thousands and thousands of books, over a million dollars worth of stuff. He gave it to his personal assistant. He goes, do whatever you got to do to get all these books donated. Sell the condo, get rid of all of it. I'm moving to Hawaii. And he went with, uh, I guess, nothing but the clothes on his back and obviously probably some money. <laughs> And uh, moved to Hawaii to spend the last few years of his life before he passed away. And I got to meet him right before that. Um, yeah. So I'm writing my fourth book. <sighs> That'll be out in time. And then I already have a fifth book lined up and a sixth book lined up. And the goal is to, uh, uh, at least every other year for the rest of my life, or until I feel the calling not to write books, and I always dreamed of being an, uh, an author, writer, speaker, presenter, coach, public speaker. Uh, when I was a little kid, I always had, uh, I had actual very vivid dreams of being a grown man in a suit and tie on a stage in front of thousands of people, screaming into a microphone, stomping my feet with tears in my eyes, and an entire audience captivated, crying uh, from my passion. And just like some people know that they know that they know something's going to happen or that's their calling or their mandate, their mission, their destiny. Um, this is, but, but you struggle with other things that you want to have in your life, but somehow you just can't get that knowing that actually manifests it. Does it make sense? I know that I know that I know that I know that that's my calling and that's my destiny as to, and I used to ask myself, why was I a kid? And a teenager reading all these books and listening to all these audiobooks. And I really believe that it was getting me 
primed and prepped and prepared and studying all the history of personal development so then I could form my own and be the messenger that takes the torch. See, this is a, one thing that really set off my internet marketing career and into this whole other make my dreams manifest. I've gotten to speak on stages all over the country. Next month, I'm a keynote speaker in Vegas. A keynote speaker in Vegas. Me. This is amazing. This is like a dream come, come true. It was, uh, excuse me. It was Brendan Burchard that spit. This is important. Listen to me. Just give me a second. Here. It was like 2013 or 14. I'm on a webinar with this guy. He says... You might say, yeah, but I can't. And if you watch this video all the way to them, this might be the most important thing for you. Yeah, but I'm not like Brandon Burchard or Tony Robbins or any of these guys. I can't do what they do. I'm just a little me. He goes, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh These guys are going to grow old, and they're going to pass on. They're counting on you. They need someone. They need people to hand the torch down to of responsibility to keep the message going and that's you it's your responsibility and you're going to grow into those shoes into that position right and you have to believe that and you say yes i accept full responsibility and i have my hand out and i will take the torch and i will fly and i will uh, hold the torch of personal development for my brothers and sisters so you be you get out of egocentrists Sorry, I'm tired. You get out of egocentricism or becoming ego from being egocentric with this, which is first stage consciousness, and you move into ethnocentric, which is we and us, right? And then from there, you go into uh, world centric, cosmic centric. I'm all talked out. Hope you enjoyed this video and peace.